up, fellow YouTubians? Um, this is Josh Jerry 22 here, uh, doing a review this week for the DVD Fiends. I can't remember what, which week it is, but uh, it's Lucio Fulci week. It's a hard name to pronounce, but a uh, very great director, so let's get into it. This week I'm going to be reviewing Zombie 3, which was directed by Lucio Fulci mostly. He had to drop out um, early on. Or I don't know how much of this was actually filmed by him, but um, he dropped out of it because uh, he had health issues. I think he had a stroke or something like that was what I've read. I've heard a bunch of different stuff, so I don't really know. But Zombie 3 is a follow-up to Zombie 2 in some, some ways, some ways not. Um, Zombie 2 is a very great movie. Zombie 3 was okay, but I wouldn't say that it's my favorite of Fulci's films uh, by any means. But uh, first off, I just want to say that this cover right here, see if I can zoom in on that. Looks like Freddy Krueger to me. I don't know why. This reminds me of an old Nightmare on Elm Street uh, case. But anyways, back to Zombie 3. This movie was pretty good. I watched it once, and uh, I, I hadn't seen it in a long time, so I had to give it a rewatch before I could do a review on it. And uh, I liked it better the second time I watched it. Um, it had some really, really good gore effects in it. Um, the film starts off, this uh, terrorist steals this canister that's full of like uh, some toxic waste, uh, hazardous material, I guess, and he's being chased all around by uh, this helicopter, and he drops it, and the case uh, busts open, and he gets some of the the zombie shit on him, and he uh, starts transforming, and he, he makes his way to this, this uh, hotel, and uh, he just goes from there as any other zombie outbreak he attacks one person it goes from the next to the next to the next but then um <clears throat> they try to contain the virus by by capturing the soldier and they uh, they burn him uh which I thought this was kind of like a throwback to return of the living dead almost because they burned the zombie in there too and it got in the air but this time it got in the birds instead of the rain so that was pretty cool and the the birds attack this bus full of girls uh, that scene was really awesome. I thought the whole bird thing was really cool. And uh, it started affecting the girls on the bus. And uh, there's some soldiers following the bus. And then the movie picks up from their point of view pretty much from there on. And uh, these soldiers and the girls, try, they take refuge at a, at the motel, I think. And then they go to uh, an abandoned military base. But uh, it's just them fighting their way through hordes of zombies, which the zombies kind in this movie kind of look like, to me, they kind of look like a... Uh, maybe monks or something like almost like asian people with these for zombies um i don't know why but that's that's just how i thought they looked but uh this is a pretty decent movie if you're into uh zo low budget zombie movies there's a lot of great gore effects in here um uh, and uh as did zombie 2 this movie i thought try to kind of cash in on the dawn of the dead um uh george a. romero's dawn of the dead because at the end of the movie it shows this radio um like talk show host, or not talk show, but just like a radio host, and uh, he's transformed into a zombie at the end of it. It's pretty much saying that, you know, zombie disease is taking over the whole world. Just like they did in Zombie 2, they re-added the bridge scene in there to try to tie that in with Dawn of the Dead. I guess the producers added that in on Zombie 2, but uh, uh, Bruno Mattei also chipped in on this movie, I think, and did some, uh, did some work. But I highly recommend Zombie 3 if, uh, if you're a if you just want to check out some Fulci movies, um, which I need to watch a bunch more of his myself. I've only seen a few. I know that's sad to say, so don't don't hate me, guys. But um, definitely give this one a watch. Uh, this is put out by Shriek Show. This is, I got this in a the box set, so um, you can pick that up fairly cheap off the internet. Show you the disc art and stuff here. The dub in this movie is also kind of off pretty bad not uh, not bad so you can watch it but it was pretty off a little insert there but uh highly recommend this movie I, I liked it after a second watch this is the last of the good zombie movies in my opinion uh four and five i did not care much for uh, but give that a watch guys and that's been my review for this week so uh take it easy and i'll see you next time